Do you guys want to use a word track that works every time? Yes or no? We're on the lot, and I'm like, hey, I appreciate you showing me the vehicle, um, but I need to think about it. Go. They'll buy a car. This is what you have to do. They banished me, never to be seen, to a place where the years always fill the screams. So hot that the land only grows weeds, a place filled with demons. That's how you learn word tracks. This is how you become dangerous. Word tracks are something so you never freeze. Remember how I just grabbed you? And I was like, what's my payment gonna be? It's like, you're like, oh shit. And then you're thinking, I don't want you to think. I want you to be a machine, okay? All right, you ready? All right, are you ready? You've been doing it two years? Yeah. All right, stand up. We're just gonna move here real quick. Are you ready? Yeah. We're on the lot, okay, we're on the lot. And I'm like, hey, I appreciate you showing me the vehicle, um, but I need to think about it, go. What is there to think about? Uh, I just need to think about it. Well, I can grab your trade keys. I can't do this. <laughs> Stop, yes you can. First okay. of all, don't say you can't. <laughs> I know. I hold, do. hold on. Stop. Listen he's to me. Nervous. No, you're not. You're not nervous. Everybody do me a favor. He's not nervous. He's feeding his head that he's nervous. Can I ask you a question? Are, are, are you nervous? Yeah. No, you're not. I mean... Are you nervous? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. That's what I need. I need you to stop lying to you. Listen to me. Do you know what's keeping him weak? Him. Hey, and by the way, you're going to change today. I'm not embarrassing you. I want you to know that you're going to change. How old are you? 23. Good, 23. Okay, I was making five to 800 grand a year when I was 23. You know what? You're way more qualified than I was. You're way more qualified. Now you may say, what do you mean? Bro, you just got to want to, you just got to want to develop. You just got to want to train. You got to realize the life you have right now is not the life you're after, but you're in the right job. Yeah. You're in the right company. You're in the right place. You're in the right vehicle. You just got to look in the mirror and be like, dude, I'm not doing anything about changing my life right now. It's like, dude, like this is what I need to do. I don't care how much skill you have. If you do everything that I said by exercising, taking care of yourself, starting to believe in yourself, learn your confidence, learn how to speak, speak more, talk more, get in the flow state more. Flow state. What's flow state? The way I talk. I got to talk all the time. You guys talk for a living. How often should you be talking? All the freaking time. You know how many phone calls I made to get good at talking? All the time. Don't practice on your customers. Get on the phone. Wear that phone out. Okay? So, when I say I need to think about it, do you guys, listen, okay, let me tell you about word tracks. Do you guys want to use a word track that works every time? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. If I say, if we're on the lot and I say I need to think about it, okay, what is our goal? Everybody, common sense. What's our goal? To get them inside. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Because why? Because if we get him inside and we take him to this desk, we can close him. Am I right? He's outside. He says, hey, Andy, I need to think about it. What are you going to do? You're going to say, of course you need to think about it. Listen, have we given him anything to think about? Yes or no? He's on the lot. He's looking at the car. Has he, does he have anything to think about? Of course, guys. Listen, the word tracks in the training says, of course you need to think about it. We agree with the client. We got to get him to that table. So no matter what they say, if they're like, yeah, Andy, we need to think about it. Say, guys, of course you need to think about it. I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. Because have we? We haven't even given them any information. Do you guys see the common sense smart? Am I making this shit up like blurted out of your mouth or does this make sense? So repeat after me. Of course you need to think about it. Of course you need to think about it. Okay, put your hands up. Come on. Okay, now listen. Can you, can you model me? Yeah. Okay. This is what I want, okay? This is how he's gonna become great. Say, of course you need to think about it. Of course it. you need to think about it. I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. What I would like to do. What I would like to do. Is give you a quick five minute proposal. Is to give you a quick five minute proposal. Uh, proposal. Proposal, sorry. Of all the numbers. Of all the numbers. Of all the numbers. Of all the numbers. Because <laughs> you're a magician. Yes. Of all the numbers. All the numbers. So when you go home. So when you go home. You truly have something to think about. You truly have something to think about. Would that be fair? That would be fair. Okay, watch. You want to get everybody to this table? Yes or no? Yes. Listen, let me explain common sense to you. Are you understanding what I'm, what I'm telling him? Okay, listen, I want you to understand this. When you get them on a write-up sheet right there, they're going to buy a car. You know that, right? Yes. You guys all know that, right? Yes. We got to get them to that table. You see that manager? See this guy? This guy's ready to go to work when I get him on that table. When I get that worksheet filled out, he gets excited. When I'm out on the lot, he doesn't get excited. I need to get him to that table. I got an army of people ready to help me on the inside. I got to get him here. We're out there. Client says, hey, I need to think about it. You're like, guys, of course you need to think about it. Guys, everybody say, no big deal. No big deal. 
It ain't no big deal. This isn't some word track. It's, it's, guys, of course you need to think about it. I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. What I would like to do is give you a quick five minute proposal of all the numbers. So when you go home, you truly have something to think about. Would that be fair? They always go, yeah, well, that would be fair. Okay, guys, come on inside. Now, notice, I said, so when you go home, are they going home? No, they're not going home. No one's going home. That's our home. Hey, guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments Tell me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. So now they come inside and watch. I sit down with them, okay? And when I sit down, I say hypothetically. Everybody say hypothetically. Hypothetically, hypothetically when you guys are ready to buy, how would you like your new vehicle titled? What am I doing? Getting a write-up sheet, getting their information. Hypothetically. Listen to me, guys. They're going to buy. The more information you can get, if you can get their keys, if you can get an ACV card, a trade card, if you can get a credit app, if you can get this information, they will stay and buy. You know why? Because you got them to give everything that it takes to buy a damn car. So this is how it works. Yeah, come on inside. Okay, go. Guys, come on inside. Awesome, man. What can I get you guys a drink? Go on and have a seat. Okay, cool. Now, hypothetically, when you guys are ready to buy, how would you like your new vehicle title? Don't go in trying to sell them. We're not doing that. We need to get the information. Bring them down the rabbit hole. Hypothetically, when you're ready to buy, how do you want your new car titled? Okay, cool. What's the address you want the paperwork mailed to? And by the way, what's the car that you guys are trading in? Oh, that one? Okay, cool. Um, let me go ahead and get the keys to that so I can have my manager check it out. Is that fair? Awesome. And by the way, who's the car finance with? Okay, now you guys do currently have a payment on the vehicle you're trading. Is that right? Awesome. So I can get you the payment to the penny on the new vehicle. I'm also going to get you two. I'm also going to get two seconds of information so I can get you everything, price, trade, payment, and everything you need. Is that okay? Every time my head is doing this, they're like, yes, yes, yes. Okay, now I go back to him. I've got a trade card. I got, a, I got an ACV card. I got a write-up sheet. Dude, I got a credit app. I got everything. Deal. These people are buying a car. They're buying a car. They'll buy a car. This is what you have to do. So I need you guys to think right now, okay? Who are the five people that are going to get you to where you want to go in life? Who are the five people? Who do you want to be? Who's your mentor? Who's your mentor? Tell me, who's your mentor? That's a problem. We're going to find you one. You need one. You hear me? Who's your mentor? You need one. That's a problem. Who's your mentor? RJ Sprague. Okay. Who's your mentor? My brother. Okay. Who's your mentor? Okay. I love hearing that. Who's your mentor? My uncle. Uncle. All right. Who's your mentor? Okay. Dane is. Love that. Who's your mentor? My old GM. Your old GM. Okay. Who's your mentor? Father. Who's your mentor? Father. Haven't found one yet. Okay. Haven't found one. My pastor. Your pastor. Who's your mentor? My staff sergeant. Staff sergeant. Who's your mentor? Dad. Okay. How do you think your staff sergeant would talk to you? He'd tell you the direct truth, right? Is, that, is he going to sugar, sugarcoat anything? No. Hell no. Right? So here's my point. Listen to me. I need you to find four or five people. Do you hear me? Okay? Some of them need to be in your industry, and some of them don't have to be. Now, listen, I'm going to tell you this. For motivation, when I was younger, I would go to David Goggins. Do you know why? Because David Goggins had a mindset. Now, David Goggins isn't a team player. You don't see David Goggins running with the team. Okay, so I need to find someone that has to do with the team. I needed someone for my mindset. I needed someone to look up to on how to have a marriage and how to be a great father. I needed someone to look up to in multiple areas. Who are the five people that are going to get you to where you want to go in 2024? Here's what I'll tell you. You must choose one person, okay, in the areas of your life that's important to you. And you guys must study these people. Now, I'm going to tell you something. What's the vehicle that's going get to you, get you to where you want to go? Right here. This is it. You want to run the company? Yes, sir. Okay. All you got to do is, is prove it. Every one of you right now, if you go and get with somebody, don't you have to prove yourself every day to that person that you're worth being together? But once people get together, has any, okay, me and my wife, when I got married with her, and I know you guys are, I've used my wife a lot. We, we got together. Watch this. I proved to her every day that I was the man that she needed to marry. Does that make sense? What happens when you get married? You stop proving yourself because you got the prize. Listen to me. Have you guys got to where you want to go with success in life? 
you've got to stop proving yourself and you haven't even got to where you want to go, which is why we're going to get pissed off. I want everybody to write this down, controlled anger. Controlled, notice it says controlled anger, underline controlled. I need you to get emotional. Underneath that, I need you to write down, who bet against you? Who's betting against you right now? Okay, who bet against you? Who doesn't think you're gonna make it, Corey? Ex-husband, love that shit. What'd he say? What didn't he say? Okay, no, but I wanna know what he said. I wanna write it right there. What, no, name never, one thing. I will never be anything without him. Okay, you'll never be anything without him. I want you to understand this. When she sees ex-husband, I will never be anything without him, I want you to understand. I want you to see emotion in that, and I want you to get pissed off, and I want you to prove him wrong, okay? I need you to understand. How do you get to where you wanna go? Me, two ways. Number one, manifestation. I manifest what I want. Look, I'm gonna tell you right now, if I want a Lamborghini, I'll tell you what kind it is, what color it is, what year it is, how much money I need, I'm gonna tell you when I'm gonna get it by. So what I want and when I'm gonna get it by. Everybody write this down, get clear. Get clear on what you want. Number two, why in the hell do you wanna get that? Number one, you wanna get whatever it is you want because you deserve it, but I want you to think about that person. I wanna give everybody a book I want you to go read. Okay, everybody write this down. Patrick Bet David. He wrote a book and, it, and it's called Choose Your Enemies Wisely. I want you guys to listen to this book. I want you to read the book and I want to tell you something. It is going to make you go to the next level. Garen freaking teed. Okay, will you guys get that book? Some of you won't. Okay, now listen, I want to say something to you. Next time I see you guys, I don't want to recognize you and I don't want you to recognize me, is that cool? Okay, so right now, every single person, let's write down some stuff. Number one, fitness, I want you to write down what's gonna happen. Are you gonna lose weight? Are you gonna put on muscle? How much are you gonna weigh? How much weight are you gonna lose? What's your body gonna look like? Write down the age of the body you wanna have back. When do you wanna have it back by? I need you to give me a date when you want that body back by. Okay, number, number two, when you're done with that, right mindset. I need you to guard your mind. From this point forward, do not let anyone in your head under any circumstance unless they're worth listening to. Okay, no one, don't let anyone in your head. Listen to me, all it takes is one person to get in your head. By the way, underneath mindset, write down me, okay? Take back control of your damn mind. Quit being negative, okay? Start believing in yourself. You have to, you must develop this belief system. By the way, all you gotta do is go do, which is step one, take care of yourself. That belief system's gonna come. Then step two, you start developing. All right, step three, skill set. So mindset's gonna change. I wanna tell you this, this is how I learn in life, four levels, spiritual, physical, mental, business, okay? I asked if you believe in God. They said, with God, everything's possible. I need you to understand this. He can do anything you want. So if you believe in him, you need to lean into that. And you need to start acting like you believe, okay? Number two, you don't have to be perfect. Everybody understand this. You don't have to be perfect. I am crazy. I am absolutely crazy after everything I want in life. Define what success means to you. From this point forward, we are not going to chase success. We are gonna own it. You guys can have it right now. You can have everything you want. Did you know you can have the mindset that takes people five years to get if you want it right now? It's just a decision. Guys, trick yourself into success. Dude, trick yourself. When you walk out this door, everybody write this down, future truth. You guys can never lie, ever, moving forward except I'm gonna give you permission real quick for one of the biggest last lies you'll ever, ever, ever will tell. And I'm gonna tell you what I did. So I started studying Patrick Bet David when I was 39 years old. My wife, she, she, this is what she did, I'm gonna tell you. She grabbed my love handle and she goes, you getting comfortable? Because I was, and I played at a really high level when I took care of myself, but I was getting out of shape. So she knew she needed to trigger me. If anybody understands what a wife or a husband's job to do is, it's to protect their person, support them, but also check their ass when they're falling out of line. Does that make sense? I didn't like this, but she was right, and it changed my life. So I started exercising really hard. Future truth. What does this mean? Number one, she told me she, she learned to live without me. 
Okay, what does that mean? I'm not being good to my family. I'm delusional. I got success and we're getting money, but I'm not getting all the stuff that I want. So what, what's my problem? I'm just not where I am. I need to be at work when I'm at work and when I'm at home, I need to be at home. I need to decide that wherever I am, I need to be all in where I'm at. It's a simple shift. This is, this is so easy, but it's the hardest thing. It's the hardest freaking thing, dude. These cell phones are the biggest distractions in the world. You gotta have control, man. You can't get caught up in this shit. Make social media, don't watch it. Swear on my life, be, be a maker of stuff. Anyways, future truth. I decided that I was going to behave a certain way, act a certain way, look a certain way, believe a certain way. I was gonna be successful a certain way. I never wanted to be a great leader. I thought I wanted to be the boss. A boss is somebody that someone will follow for a paycheck, but a leader is someone that people will follow voluntarily without money involved for blood, sweat, and tears. Does that make sense? I wanted that. So I go, dude, I'm gonna become a leader. I said, I'm gonna become an example. I didn't know who for, but I knew I was gonna do it. And dude, I told myself a lie. This is the lie that I'll let you guys tell. I lied to myself and I decided that I'm that person right then, right now. That's who I was. So some of you, you don't have a six pack right now, but you can damn sure believe that you have one. Does that make sense? Dude, nobody will understand it. This is for you. So you start carrying yourself like this future truth person, like this is the future me. That's the truth. I'm going to become that. So you start carrying yourself in that now. The last thing I want you to do is walk out of here, be the same person and hope it's going to change. No, your goal is to own that guy, all these notes, own that guy now. And if you own that guy now, when you walk out of here, dude, you're going to start really smashing it out here. Now, when you're working out, you're taking care of yourself, you're doing the training, you're practicing all this stuff, you got your soul in the right place, you're working your butt off, when you're really at work, you're giving it all you got, you're making the phone calls, you're closing clients, you're excited, you're out working everybody else. In due time, it could be three months, it could be six months, it could be nine months, you're gonna look up, dude, he's not lying anymore. He is that person. You guys get it? You are that person. Look, you got two choices in here. Number one, stay the same. Number two, change. That's it. Here's what I'm going to ask you. Are you guys tired of wasting time? Yes. Okay. Only a few people have the courage to really understand what's happening. You guys are all expiring. You guys get that? I'm not being negative. But even the young ones, the old ones, no one knows how much time we have left, okay? Everybody's got an expiration date on them in this room. I didn't want to go out the way that I was when I was 39. You guys don't want to go out the way you are now. Hey, get to your best self. Be, be, be an example to other people. Hey, this business, they love you guys, but you got to do your part. You know who they get attracted, you know who Mike gets attracted to? He gets attracted to those that want it. It's, it sucks to beg people to want it. You know, it sucks to beg people to, to, to want to go to the next level. It sucks. I want you guys to do it without a babysitter, without anyone telling you. And guess what? I want you to understand this. Remember how I went around the room? This is the last part we'll finish with. I went around the room and I asked everybody who their mentor was. Does that make sense? Everybody that from this point forward that you come in contact with, you give all you got. You're also giving yourself all you got so you can give them all you got. Every person says, well, my mentor is you. And you were the one that was the example for all these people to change. And how did it start? It's simple. You guys came in a classroom. You guys literally took a good look in the mirror, which only winners can do. Losers can't look in the mirror. They don't like it. They make excuses. Winners look in the mirror and own their shit. And they say everything falls and rises on the leader. I am the leader. I'm in charge of my life. I'm the manager of my life. And my life isn't going the way I want because I haven't wanted it. But now I'm going to want it. I can do anything that I want. We don't talk like I can't do this. First of all, I want you guys to, to hold yourself accountable. If you say you can't, just slap yourself across the face. That is a lie. The, the truth is you don't want to. That's the truth. So I want you to know, guys, I have built a life that right now, if I die, I'm good. I can't believe that I have the life I have. Now I want you to get it. Now I'm telling you, your guys are going to get it. Now, if there's someone in this room that doesn't want it, it's okay. Lots of people don't go get the life they want. But I don't think that that's you guys. I don't want anything from you. I don't need anything from you. 
All I want you guys to do is change. So reinvent yourself every day, every day until they bury you in the ground a long time from now. Every day get better, every day inspire more people, every day close more deals, every day raise the bar. By the way, what is the ultimate leader, the ultimate teammate, the ultimate salesperson? This is what I did. I crushed the bar. That means whatever the bar is that they want me to hit, I'm gonna crush that shit. I'm gonna kill it. But also, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheer my team on. Everybody remember this. You wanna be an alpha? Don't be an alpha, alpha loser, okay? Cheer your team on. When you see someone, listen to me guys. Some of you right now, you're not doing anything big in your life. But you're gonna start doing big shit in your life. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. I want every time you see somebody that's not doing big shit to remember that once you weren't doing big shit. So I want you to invest in those people. I want you to be a leader for those people. And when people laugh and joke at people because they don't think they're gonna make it, they laughed at me, okay? Yeah, well now I'm laughing my way to the bank, okay? Because I didn't quit. And I want to tell you guys, the only way that you're gonna lose is if you quit. The only way you'll ever lose is if you quit. Every person in this room will get to where they wanna go and, and further if they don't quit. Now you must audit the people you hang around with. You cannot get out of here and hang out with the wrong people. You must have the courage to stand up for yourself. Hey, don't argue with people, just walk away, be done. That's the cool thing about winners, dude. Winners don't have time to argue with losers. I have people comment on my shit, I got hate all the time, I never respond. I don't go down to their level. I'm after a big, a big life, just like you guys. So anyways, us being together, I want you guys to know that today, it wasn't sales training. Sales training is easy. And I would love to talk to you guys about closing and all this stuff, but really, it's time to become closed on you. So, what are you guys worth? Whatever you want. Hey, if I can make 800 grand and I was stupid, you guys can make the same thing. Who's gonna be the number one performer in this company? Who's capable? All of you guys are. Now, when we get out of here, remember this. My goal today wasn't to motivate you. I taught you today. I taught you today. I taught you what to do to change your life. That's all I did, okay? You got a lot of people that are counting on you guys. You got family that are counting on you to change. Dude, you guys got a lot of people that love you guys and they're waiting for you to change. And by the way, listen to me. I'll bet a lot of them don't think that you're the one that's gonna change. They probably think it'll be someone else. They're wrong, okay? In my family, I was the one that stood up and changed. I will never break my will to win. And I wanna tell you guys, no matter what you did, forgive yourself and from this point forward, give yourself permission to have a good life. So I love you guys, I appreciate it, I'm just telling you. From this point forward when we train, it's just to get sharp. It's just to self-develop. That's it. You don't have to be me. So when you guys watch training, I don't want you to be me. I don't know it all. I just want you to maybe get one thing out of a video, understand it, memorize it, take it into your word track. As you guys keep changing, every time we see each other, the next time I see you, you guys will all look completely different. You guys feel me? Okay? Everybody feel good? Okay, you guys see, the, you see your future self? You guys gonna go get this book, Choose Your Enemies Wisely, by Patrick Bet David? Okay, when you're at work, remember this, don't let anyone outwork you. 60 minutes in an hour, how you work 60 minutes in that hour. All right, Dan? Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.